Hi all. So today we are going to study uh, about control and coordination, which is uh, CBSC uh, Biology Chapter 2. So this is a wonderful chapter which we have to study in biology. Here we are going to deal with nervous system, hormonal system and uh, reflex actions and uh, how control and coordination happens in plants and a lot of other topics, which is uh, actually a wonderful chapter as to how the human body responds to different stimuli which is uh, different things which are happening in the surroundings so basically first and foremost how we are going to go about uh, this chapter in this particular video is we are going to have a a brief introduction and then we are going to discuss about what a stimuli is okay what is a stimuli and then we are going to discuss about how various organisms respond to stimuli and the difference the difference in the way in which the plants and animals respond to stimuli and also we are going to briefly talk about what is exactly meant by coordination what is meant by control okay so if you see now coming to the introduction as i told you um, there are a lot of things which are happening in the air uh, in our surroundings right that is uh, the sunlight is coming up when the sunlight falls onto a seed and when properly uh, we water what happens a small plant grows from that if you see uh, the sunflower it turns towards the sunlight and moreover and if you see human beings also your mother calls you you hear that sound you wake up at that particular time and you get thirsty you drink water see lot of things internally also you feel thirst that is an internal stimulus that is something is happening inside you which makes you do something right externally if you see your mother calls you you hear that sound and you respond to it or most probably you do not respond to it let's keep that aside but generally right so you see something you see a beautiful flower you smile so you are seeing the flower that is something uh, something sight is triggering a response from you so these things these movements actually if you see all the responses most of the responses you know these are movement based responses so uh, see uh, like the seed is growing that is a movement right uh, that is a movement that the plant does if you see the animals it sees a prey the tiger sees a deer okay and now that sees a prey right now what happens a tiger moves towards the prey now that is a kind of movement if you touch a hot object you withdraw your hand that is also a movement right so you see a lot of things and most probably the response that you do is a kind of movement so now you see the movement that we do if you see non-living things do those things move about no so this is a characteristic property of living things. So if you are a living thing, if you are a living thing, all the living things, that is animals, that is plants, even the minutest of plants, even the minutest of animals, you know, uh, like amoeba, that is very, very microscopic uh, stuff, microscopic, microscopic animal. Even those organisms like an amoeba, which is so small, which is microscopic, can respond. Like if an amoeba is here and it sees a food particle, this amoeba can move to the food particle, right? So now seeing or sensing this food particle, this animal responded, this microorganism responded okay so this response is generated only in a living thing it cannot be see if a stone is here it cannot respond to any anything that is happening in the environment right so this is a very very characteristic property that is responding to something which is happening around you or inside you both things can happen inside you also something can happen like you are hungry then you go and eat food that is happening that is something which happens from inside so responding to something is a very very characteristic property of living thing it is not it cannot happen for a non-living thing okay so now what is meant by stimuli i told you things happen around us in a surrounding lot of things happen right so 
based on the situation we respond to it so something which evokes response something which make us respond that is known as stimuli what what do we mean by that stimuli means the changes in the environment in environment constantly changes are there light comes light goes you hear a lot of sound you uh, you smell a lot of things so lot of changes are there in the environment so or for most of these environmental changes you know the organisms respond to these changes and react to these changes okay what is the difference between response and react response means you think and do an action reaction means spontaneously you are reacting to the situation without thinking on an impulse you might be doing it so there will be lot of changes in the environment to which organisms respond or react these changes are called stimuli okay so uh, what are the changes so in in you know basically we can say that the uh, stimuli can be heat okay you are uh, touching a very hot object then you take back your hand you are smelling something you are smelling a wonderful biryani so that is a stimulus which makes us makes our uh, you know mouth water now you are hearing a sound you are hearing the sound of an ice cream truck now also you want to go there and excitement is generated now you are touching a beautiful flower touch is there pressure is there pressure means you are pressing pressing on to your hands that pressure is generated all these things can be said to be stimuli okay so light coming all these things can be bro you know basically said to be as generating stimuli the stimuli is of basically heat smell sound touch pressure taste all these things are stimuli stimuli can be external stimuli as well as internal stimuli external stimuli means heat if it comes from outside smell which is coming from outside sound which is coming from outside all these things are generated externally internal stimuli means feeling of hunger feeling of thirst feeling of anger you know when we are angry or when we are afraid a lot of hormones are getting generated inside our body so hormones means uh, if you are generating a hormones means what was the stimuli for that why did we generate a lot of hormones because inside what happened a stimuli of tension or stimuli of fear was generated and emotion was generated that is a stimuli which happened inside so those stimuli which are generated inside our body are known as internal stimulus and those stimuli which are generated outside our body are known as external stimulus now how do organisms respond to stimuli so generally organisms what do they do they create some form some kind of movement of a body part or an entire body for that matter so what what do we mean by that if a man touches a hot utensil or a hot object what does he does what does he do he runs away no he doesn't run away he doesn't move his entire body in most cases in most cases what does he do he simply withdraws his hand but then if a tiger sees a uh, rabbit what what does he do he runs behind the rabbit so generally some kind of movement is created uh, for that matter when we see a bright light when we go from a dark room to a bright light we close our eyes reflexively why why do we close our eyes because when bright light is created when when we are exposed to bright light what happens our eyes cannot cannot take in that much of light in that uh, in one stretch so what do we do in order to protect our eyes our body reflexively without our knowledge itself our body reflexively what does it do our body closes our eyes so this is a response to a stimulus closing of our eye is a response to a stimulus which is bright light ex getting exposed to bright light okay so when we see a dog we run so seeing the dog is a stimulus and running is a response which is generated okay so hope you all understood what is stimulus and what is response so uh, are human beings the only organisms which respond to stimuli no as i told you even the minutest of organism respond to stimuli example sunlight bent towards the sun uh, i mean sunflower bent towards the sunlight sunlight means sunlight here sunlight is a stimuli and sunflower bending of the sunflower is the response now 
now again i have already discussed this why can we say that responding to stimuli is a characteristic property of living things because only living things respond to stimuli non living things do not have the capability to respond to stimuli so living things uh, so this responding to stimuli is a very very important property of living things and it is a characteristic property of living thing that is only living things exhibit this property and no non living thing exhibit this property of responding to stimuli now what is the difference between uh, plants responding to stimuli and animals responding to stimuli so give it a thought if you see can plants uh, respond to stimuli like uh, animals do no obviously not so if you uh, take a uh, take a fire near a plant can it run away no obviously no so there are lot of limitations in the way in which plants respond to uh, stimuli so generally what are the stimulus to which the plants respond to so if you see the plants plants what are the stimuli to which the plants respond to so plants basically respond to the light so one of the major stimulus for plants is the light uh, also plants uh, respond to gravity water nutrition minerals and all those things okay so plants basically bend towards the light but animals don't do that right animals for animals uh, of course um, I, i mean animals do respond to light but not the way the plants do they do not bend towards uh, you know light but then plants light is one of the major stimuli now plants can react to a stimuli only in a very limited way but then animals can move can react in multiple ways say uh, i mean they can react by generating hormones they can uh, react by generating enzymes they can react by moving away or moving towards uh, the stimuli and they can react in multiple ways uh, towards a stimuli like say for example amoeba can move towards a food particle so here the food particle is a stimuli and moving towards the food particle is the response which is generated uh, also uh, most importantly why do plants react in a very limited way what what is uh, what is uh, there specifically for animals which enable them to react in a much more complicated way w what is there see animals have a very complicated nervous system as well as hormonal system we are going to study that in detail so if you don't understand the term nervous system and hormonal system it is okay but animals have very complicated and highly evolved nervous system in most of the animals i mean higher animals lower animals of course they have only nervous system so in higher animals that is human beings and uh, you know uh, like a tiger cat dogs and all those higher animals if you see they have nervous system as well as hormonal system to respond to the stimuli but then do plants have nervous system no plants do not have nervous system and they have only and only hormonal system which we will be studying in detail so that is why their response is very very limited so plants respond so how do plants respond to stimuli they generally respond to the stimuli very slowly so their response is limited to growth growth towards the stimuli or away from the stimuli so uh, why does it happen because they do not have any nervous system so if you see uh, if you see a plant is here okay now this plant if the sun is here it grows towards the sun but then if you see if the water is here water is poured here you can see that the roots move towards grow towards the water okay so all these things are i mean the plants can respond only in to uh, only by using their growth that is they can grow towards the stimuli or they can grow away from the stimuli okay so what about plants like touch me not if you touch that all the leaves close no that also is based on hormones okay we are going to study about the touch me not uh, plants response as well we are going to see that later but that is not in that is not because of the nervous system because plants only have hormones okay uh, but then animals have hormones 
uh, as well as nervous system so the system in which the hormones are produced and the how the hormones work those together are known as endocrine system so it is a endocrine system which generates all the hormones in the body so uh, basically animals have nervous system as well as hormonal system hormonal system in other words we say that to be endocrine system they respond to the stimuli now uh, coming to the last topic uh, which uh, i have have told you so what is meant by so these are the ways in which the uh, plants and animals differ in the way they respond to the stimuli now what is meant by we we saw that we are responding in multiple ways in different ways right so is it totally uncoordinated like uh, do we respond the way i mean simply in any way no right so when your teacher asks you see when your teacher asks you uh, uh, hey ramu how are you hmm? you respond in a way when your friend ask you hey uh, hey buddy how are you okay you respond in a different way that is the response which you give to a teacher is in one way respond you give response you give to your friend is in a different way that is you are in total control of the response so how can you control the response that is you have to think you have to process your previous experiences uh, say if you few smell biryani you would have already uh, you know eaten biryani in some restaurant so you would know the taste so that is how uh, you would have liked that biryani and you know that this biryani is going to taste good so you will process a lot of information in a controlled way you are going to react to that situation so for that you might have to think a lot of hormones and enzymes have to be generated you might have to do a lot of movements all these have to be i uh, have to be coordinated say there is a laddu in front of you you are going to eat it your brain has to tell you Uh, that first and foremost you see this laddu right you see this laddu your eyes is going to tell your brain that see there is something in front of you the brain will process that it is a laddu and will remember all the instances that if you uh, are you a diabetic patient uh, do you like sugar and all those uh, uh, you know information the brain will process and the brain will tell your salivary glands to produce saliva uh, your mouth will start watering and message will be sent to your hands at the same time and the hands will take up that laddu and you are going to take that laddu you are going to move all the muscles and take that laddu to your mouth and your teeth will start all its work and all other things all these things have to happen in a coordinated way what if your uh, hand doesn't obey you right it goes instead of to laddu it goes to the frying pan what happens so even even when you are asking your hand that is your brain is asking your uh, hand to go to laddu it goes to frying pan what happens then so it has to happen in a very coordinated way so the working together of all the organs in a systematic manner is called coordination okay this is very important to produce a suitable response to the stimuli that is why you know producing response requires the working of a lot of organs in a very very coordinated way so we are done with the first video in the second video we are going to study about the nervous system which is a super topic